So we are together this day on the Monday before solstice which takes place tomorrow. We have of course all felt the solstice energies building and it's a wonderful time to be together on this day. So we did find in our weekend work together that the consciousness of the sun, of our sun, was very intense, very intensely connecting to each of us. And of course that is not surprising when it is of course the solstice tomorrow, the day when the sun has its longest period of light. And also there is during the month of June a very important planetary alignment and also the Arcturians tell us a universal alignment. So today we will connect into those solstice energies and receive them at the highest frequency possible. So we have already had a little time moving within as we continue now together to move ever more deeply within. There is, as we know, no limit to how deeply within we can move. And the more deeply within we go, the more that opens up before us. There's nothing to do or to get, and nowhere to go, simply to move ever more deeply within, into our core, into our high heart, into the physical body, where we create that space, where the soul, the light of the soul, the light of the divine self is able to enter. And it is from this space within, in silence, in peace, in that place of non-doing, that the divine feminine is able to enter. So we simply breathe, relaxing down into the body, the body letting go, the body loves to let go. And as these energies build within us, we feel the opening of our crown of our third eye, of the heart, as we come into that place of allowance, where we simply receive, and all is given by grace, I in my high heart, radiating unconditional love to all life. For all life is of course connected to the one. And as we rest in that place of stillness, of non-doing, we experience the divine feminine being able to rise upwards and join with us within our high heart. In this place within, we find there is only love. A 
and as you become increasingly aware of the Arcturian consciousness, their presence and the presence of many ascended masters and higher beings, you experience your frequency being constantly raised, yourselves being brought into better balance and a higher alignment being gifted to you as we all receive the energies which they radiate towards us. And from this place within the high heart where there is only love, we find we are beyond fear and we are no longer consumed by our past, for I am in the now, in the present moment, the eternal now, as more and more of who I am comes into my awareness my expanding consciousness. So as we surrender, we find ourselves entering into the fifth dimension. It first becomes aware of the softness and gentleness here. The ego self, its barriers and harshness not needed here as we each allow ourselves to become soft, tender, gentle. It brings with it a feeling of freedom be able to let go of all the harsh protection that we felt we needed. It is through this gentleness, this softness, that the higher realms are able to enter and merge with us. For the higher the energy, the more gentle it is, the finer it is, and to some, imperceptible. So we allow ourselves to rise up, move in our consciousness upwards and outwards. As we come into that gentleness, softness, and fineness, which is our true self. And there is nothing to do with this except to let it in, allow it to merge with us, to become one with it, to become one with the divine. We experience the beauty, the peace and the bliss. We have let go of all struggle. And as this higher dimensional energy moves through us in waves, we simply allow it to enter, to go where it wishes to go. We let go of all resistance and interference, for we know it is a higher intelligence, a higher consciousness, gradually raising us, transmuting, transforming, 
rewiring the physical mind, entering into every cell of the body, accelerating the frequency in every single cell as the transmutation, transmutation is taking place with the violet fire. The Arturian blue light always contains the violet fire. For the Elohim of the blue violet flame is Elohim Arcturus. So, many ascended masters and all the rays are being sent to us, into our circle at this time, but let us focus now upon receiving from the Arcturians, from Lord Arcturus, from Elohim Arcturus, the violet ray of transmutation. And the blue ray of surrender to the will of God. As we rest in these magnificent energies, all is done for us, not by us. We simply receive. It is so peaceful to be without effort, a peace we have never known for such a long time. We have moved through so much shadow that we are now able to receive the Divine Mother. As the violet ray and the blue ray continue to work within us, let us allow our to open ever wider in softness and gentleness that we may receive the Divine Mother. She rises up into our heart from the heart of Gaia. She comes to us from the central sun. Through Arcturus. Through Sirius. Through the Andromedans. The Pleiadians. 
to all higher beings in the higher dimensions are participating in sending to us the very many aspects of the Divine Feminine of Mother God. We may also feel the connection to the Blue Avians stationed near Lyra and their focus is to send to us the energy of compassion. As you receive their energy of compassion, we focus this compassion upon ourselves. The Divine Feminine is naturally loving of all things. It does not judge. It does not hate or cast aside. As we fill with the Divine Mother energy, the Christ in love of the feminine, supported by the Blue Avians and the compassion of Kuan Yin. We fill ourselves with compassion. Allowing ourselves to experience, perhaps for the first time, love of self. of course, cannot do it, cannot forgive, judges, but we have moved into a fifth dimensional state of being, where true love exists, where only love exists, and where all things are possible. Integrating, merging into my soul. Experiencing my ascension. It is said to know the self is 
is to love the self. Let us move our consciousness now to Shaftesbury Abbey. We are outside of time and space as the Divine Mother Energy, the Christed Energy of the Divine Feminine which is anchored here, engulfs us, surrounds us, moving upwards from Gaia's core, moving through the activated crystalline structure beneath the Abbey ruins. we look upwards through our third eye with an open heart we look towards our sun immediately the sun connects to you it holds the Christ energy for us Jesus Ananda is also within the sun The sun responds to you. How the sun is connecting to you. How the powerful Christ in light of our sun is entering into your heart as you make your heart connection to the sun. You begin to experience that joining within your high heart. Of the light of Christ, the love of Christ. Entering from above through 
with the sun and rising from below, from Gaia. And we remain in peace as these two energies come into balance within. The Arturians, of course, giving great assistance. The creation of this new balance which will also bring into balance and alignment heart and mind. as if my body becomes weightless, as if I am floating in these higher energies. So I must remember the importance of being anchored, of being grounded into the third dimensional body, for I am bringing the fifth dimension into the third dimensional plane. So whilst I bask in this fifth dimensional light and above, I bring it into my physical body, bringing it down into my foundation, my pelvic area, and through into my lower body. I feel my feet upon the ground and through the earth I send down my line of light to Gaia's heart in core. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. As I bring light to this world, We are bringing light into the darkness and will transform, are transforming this world. And in all 
order to do this, I hold my light, I hold my energy, I radiate love and I feel my connection to the earth, to mother nature. The streams and rivers, the grass and the trees, mountains and the sky, for I am one with nature. I am one with Mother Earth. And I am one with the whole galaxy. Feel free to open your eyes whenever. <laughs> 